Welcome back to the shop, friends. I'm super excited to share with you what's coming to this channel in 2020. Stick around. If you're new here, my name is Jim and I'm the creator of the Lasting Build channel. I'm a hobby woodworker and carpenter and I make videos intended to help you improve your skills and inspire your next project. So this year on the channel, I'm committed to building a timber frame cabin. In fact, I purchased plans for a 30 by 24 foot timber frame cabin. If you're new to timber framing, let me introduce it to you briefly. Timber framing is sort of the perfect marriage between traditional woodworking, carpentry, and engineering. It's a method of using large beams, joinery, and tree nails or pegs to erect essentially buildings and big structures. So I was introduced to timber framing back in 2014 and that's when I really became interested in it and started studying it. Then in 2015, I began acquiring some timber framing tools, most specifically my one and a half inch bar chisel. This was the first timber framing tool that I acquired. So once I had some tools, then I built my timber frame saw horses. Let me show you the saw horse and then timber framing is gonna make a lot more sense to you. So this saw horse is made out of five by five inch beams. The bottom feet of the saw horses are sort of akin to the seals of a building. And then the upright pieces here are five by five posts and they are akin to the posts that you would see in a building holding up a wall. And then you've got the braces here, the wind braces, and then the top piece would be sort of akin to a tie beam. There is no nails or screws in these saw horses. In fact, they're completely held together by wood joinery and then oak pegs. So I've never done it, but these could actually be taken apart and put back together. So what's the game plan for this build? Well, I can tell you that I'm not quite ready to get started. I've probably got three or four months of work left in preparation before I start ordering my first beams. One of the things I need is a toolbox to carry my timber framing tools with when I'm working on the building. Some of the work will be done here in the wood shop, but much of it will not be because the beams are gonna be much too large to bring into the wood shop. So I'm actually gonna erect a temporary shop behind me here, behind this wall. That'll give me some dry space to cut the beams and to complete the joinery there. Once I cut the joinery on the beams, my plan is to move those beams, those timbers, to a warehouse space, to a covered space, so I can then erect this cabin at my own pace. The last thing I wanna do is get into a really big hurry trying to build this building. I really wanna enjoy it. If it takes me several years to do it, that's okay. There's still some tools that I need to acquire before I can move forth with the building as well. And over the next few months, I'm gonna be uh, acquiring those tools. The shed that I introduced to you about a month ago, I've still gotta get that finished. It's gonna be really important to have that extra storage space to store some tools and the skid steer in. The Bobcat skid steer is gonna be a really important part of this building because these timbers are gonna weigh hundreds if not thousands of pounds a piece. So what does this new project mean for the channel? Well, I can tell you that this is gonna open up a lot of room for some new content. There'll be tons of videos I can feature on the channel, whether it be tool reviews, bringing in new tools to the shop to show you, showing you different joinery, showing you scarf joints and wind braces and showing you mortise and tenons. To be honest with you, the sky is the limit for the type of videos I'm gonna be able to produce here on the channel to share with you. I'm also gonna be making videos on progress of the building. It's gonna be a lot of fun where I can actually bring you along with me, showing you progress as I move forward, and ultimately erecting a timber frame building. There may be some opportunity for folks in the greater Nashville, Tennessee area to come help me, help me erect the building. So what should you expect in the coming months on the channel? Next week's video will be the first video in the series on this timber frame build. I just finished up my timber framers toolbox and I'm gonna to be sharing that with you next week. So be sure to hit that bell notification so you'll know when that video uploads. So how can you help now? The main thing is watch the videos. And if you know someone who is a timber framer, be sure to tell them about this video because I'm gonna need all the help I can get. So I hope you're as excited about this project as I am. It's gonna be sort of the new direction the channel is gonna be going in 2020. So until next week's video is posted, I'm gonna put a link to the corner chisel that I restored in preparation for this project last year. I'll see you there.